Hey beer tubers, it's Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me once again. Today I'm going to look at another beer from San Diego's oldest brewery and that is Carl Strauss and this is their Whistler Imperial Pilsner. So uh, this is a different take on a Pilsner. It seems a lot of craft breweries are doing Imperial Pilsners. So uh, I haven't, I don't think I've had this one from them. I might have sampled at some point, but this is a 7.5% Imperial Pilsner. Carl Strauss, if you don't know, in San Diego is uh, kind of more known for their more traditional takes on beers. Like they do a really nice traditional Hefeweizen. They do lagers, that kind of thing. So um, for them to do an Imperial Pilsner isn't, you know, too far out from kind of the styles they're doing. They can do Pilsners really well and other types of lager beers. So um, pour is very, very clear. Um, got about two finger head, uh, slightly off-white, um, mostly small bubble, bubbles in there. Just a nice, uh, just golden color, kind of what you expect from a Pilsner. Let's get the nose on it. Ah, it smells really nice. Very clean, as you expect with, uh, with a lager. Not a whole lot of yeast character, just mostly just hops and malt. You get a nice, um, floral aroma on it. I believe they're using saws in this one. So you get a touch of like a spicy floralness and then there's a nice uh, kind of toasty biscuity malt aroma on there as well. No no alcohol at 7.5% so that's nice. Um, smells good. Time to dig in. Cheers. Yeah, that's really nice, clean tasting beer. Uh, at first, it's kind of like big, and then it kind of goes into a finish that's more crisp, lager like, or pilsner like in this case. So, up front, um, huh, it's interesting. You got like a ton of malt. It almost reminds you a bit of like a, uh, like a, a maltier IPA. You get that kind of breadiness. There's a slight bit of slight bit of caramel, mostly like bready, biscuity, kind of toastiness on those big malt characteristics. And then they kind of fade out, they smooth out, some of the hops kind of kick in at the end. And it finishes really clean and on the dry side. Drinking on a bit more, I start to notice the alcohol a bit more. It, it is there. Uh, because it's such a kind of light body beer, I, well I would say it's more like a medium light body beer. There is some good amount of depth to it up front. And then it kind of really smooths out, mellows out on the back end. So you get some alcohol coming in at the end. Um, it's not that present in the taste, but you will notice you kind of feel it going down your throat. But um, overall, it's fairly well hidden. I mean, the malt character is just so um, like fresh tasting on this beer. It just uh, that toasty, slightly caramelly, biscuity malt is just, it's so intense. And I think that's because of the imperializing the, a Pilsner. It gives you that really intense malt character. Um, just super clean fermentation, no yeast esters. And then I just check on the bottle. They are using sauce hops. And you just get a nice little uh, floral, mostly spicy note right at the end. It helps kind of dry out the palate along with the alcohol. So um, it's a really nice balanced beer. Uh, with the malt up front and then the hops kind of coming in before it goes too sweet on you, it bounces out. So I haven't had a whole lot of Imperial Pilsner, so for me it's kind of hard to grade this one. But um, in terms of my enjoyment and kind of what I think the style should be, uh, I'm going to go B plus on this one. Uh, it doesn't quite wow me, is maybe I would hope like something new to me might do in the case of an Imperial, Imperial Pilsner, but... Um, uh, it's just a really nice, balanced, well-brewed beer, and so i got to give it above average, bordering on excellent uh, version of the style for Whistler Imperial Pilsner from Carl Strauss. So uh, another nice one from their Coastal Reserve Series. Uh, if you can get any of their Coastal Reserve Series beers, definitely worth picking up. So it's going to wrap it up for this review. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.